Bright County Recycling has new AI sorting robots. Jordan Hiller joins us now live from Appleton to show us how they're being used. And man, things are already rolling. Jordan, tell us about these robots. Give us a little history about them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. As you can see, and probably here, the recycling facility is in full swing this morning. Our new AMP Robotics were installed last November. And with them, we've been able to really collect more recyclable material from all of our three counties. So within the, the Tri-County, we've got Brown, Otagami, and Winnebago, and we support 16% of Wisconsin's recyclable market, and these robots are really helping us put a dent in those materials from going to the landfill. So I'm standing in front of our robot that is on our last chance line. So all the material you see flowing through here has made it through all of our hand sorters and all the rest of the equipment. This robot is designed to pick out three separate commodities Think plastic water bottles, so your PET, milk jugs, HDPE, plastic number two, the natural color, as well as polypropylene, which is plastic number five, which is going to be a lot of our dairy containers, produce containers. This has been an absolute amazing installation, and we're really proud of it. This material, or this robot, sees over 400,000 pieces of material in an eight-hour shift. This is going to really help support our recycling efforts and stop this material from ending up in the landfill. This is so interesting, Jordan. Has this changed how you hire out there or the employees that you already have, or is it just a great addition to who's currently working there? No, great question. We were actually able to move staff we already had to other parts of the facility. We've been very understaffed, so the addition of these robots has been vital for the success of this facility. We've been able to put staff in areas that they haven't seen in months, as well as start to collect new commodities. So it's been an amazing addition to the recycling facility here. This is just so great to give people a behind the scenes look. Jordan, we appreciate your time this morning. We're gonna check back in with you in our next hour or two to see more about this AI robot sorting all of these items. Jordan and everyone out there, thanks so much. Tri County Recycling is getting some help from some robots. Jordan Hiller joins us now live from Appleton to explain. Jordan, let us know exactly where you're at inside the facility and about these robots. A little background on them. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to welcome all the viewers to the container line of the recycling facility, or it's also known as the MRF, the Material Recovery Facility. So as you see behind me, we've got bottles, jugs, and jars flowing across this conveyor belt. This robot is specifically designed to pick out HDPE. So this is gonna be your plastic number two. You like your milk jugs and laundry detergents. All right, as we see, we are shutting down currently for break, but this robot has been essential in us collecting these recyclable materials to stop them from ending up in the landfill. Jordan, even robots need to take a break a time or two, right? Talk about how this has actually helped the employees that are there, but also the residents um, in those counties. Absolutely. So this facility, we process nearly 16% of Wisconsin's recy recyclable market. So that's just under a million people. So we've got to get all that material through this facility fast. These robots have helped our efficiency as well as collection rates. We're getting over a bale more a day of this material. That means that material is being saved and going back into the market and being recycled instead of ending up in the landfill. We were slightly understaffed before these robots were installed last November. And with the installation, we've actually been able to shift that staff to other areas of the facility to collect even more recoverable material. What does the future look like there, you know, for the robots, for your staff? Like, is it just going to improve year after year? Absolutely. With these, we can actually tell the robots in real time what material to pick. So we can actually base it off of the recyclable market or even based off of the volume of material we see incoming to the facility, the possibilities are endless. We can actually tell it to pick different commodities at a certain time when we know the volumes are high. So this recovery rate should go up astronomically. Is there a certain person that has to stay there and monitor the robot? Are there other screens that help with this whole process? These robots are very self-sufficient, and most of the warnings, or if there's anything going wrong, they actually send emails and texts uh, to our supervisor, and we are notified as soon as anything happens. Amazing how far technology has come. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day.